everyone, it's Birds of 1000, or Abby, and I am here with my order from Triple Mountain Horses, or just Triple Mountain, oh yeah, Triple Mountain Model Horses, and uh, I'm actually in my late grandfather's house, and I have a whole bunch of updates I have to make a video for, and I don't know where I'm going to start with that, just because two jobs, 40 hours a week, all the fun stuff. So I have this huge order, um... I actually had the pleasure of talking to, I don't want to mispronounce her name, but the lady who does all the shipping and everything like that. Me and her had a, gosh, I think a two-week back-and-forth conversation about, like, everything and everything. So um, she wrote me a little note on here. It says, hi, Abby. It's been great talking with you. I look forward for you coming up to visit sometime. Meanwhile, uh, have fun meeting all your new additions. So I have a bunch of little things in here. So that was one letter because I actually have two. I got this little um, thing for Matrix because I like, personally, I like having my, um, all my horses, like, cutouts and stuff like that. I don't know. For me, it just makes me feel that much better. And then um, I have, like, my information from other stuff and whatnot. So, I'm just going to get started. I'm going to start off with this because I've been waiting the longest for this guy. So, I actually saw this guy in production. Um, I am, like, I'd like to say, pretty pretty good friends with the owner of Copper Fox. So, actually, when I went to her house to go pick something up, um, what I ended up doing was she told me about them. So, when I saw them... Like, going for sale, I actually had to get one. So, this is actually my first purchase from Copper Fox, technically, but not technically. My first purchase of Copper Fox since the new Copper Fox came into swing. So, mine is number 177 of 250. The only thing I don't like about this little thing is that his peg is already... So he kind of sticks up. So I'm that. Other than that, everything else is perfectly fine. But he is beautiful. He looks so much more blue than he actually does. He is a very, honestly, to me, he looks more like the color of Under the Sea, the special run from 2011 Briarfest. I honestly love him. He is so pretty. And I got, like, I don't even know how to explain his color, but he's definitely not this blue. He's more green, but it's it's more like an under-the-sea color, but lighter. So I'm actually super stoked to finally have him in my collection. When we were there, um, my tiny human was given a blue Winston, uh, Clearwear Winston by, by Julia. Um, so she has that, and she also has a little orange fox from her. So, I'm actually so stoked to actually have one, like, for me. And then, so here's some other stuff that I got. I got these guys because they were actually cheaper from Triple Mountain. I mean, shipping was probably more expensive. But, I mean, at this point, the shipping mainly consisted for pretty much one thing. And you'll see that the last thing. So, I think I was able to get all of these, these new ones. Because I actually do kind of conquer this mold now that I have like 8 million unicorns. So I got opal, cit citrine. Show that guy a little later. I'll show those guys next after that. I got pirouette. Nope, not pirouette. Per, 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 I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm awful when it comes to, to, like, to pronunciations and stuff like that. But there's him. I feel like I'm missing somebody. I am missing somebody. Nope, never mind. He's right here. <laughs> so I got rose quartz. I got topaz, which I honestly kind of really love him. I don't know, the color just makes him that much more awesomer. And I got pearl. So I got all of these guys. I'm super stoked to have them. Uh, I also got these. I got the classic one. I honestly, I really just love these, like, from Briar, like, for the actual, the actual, like, events and stuff. So, I have the traditional one, and I have the classic one. I got these guys as well, since I do kind of conga this mold. So, I have this guy, one of 750 
And then I got this one to almost complete my conga. I think I only need two or three more. I definitely need the one from, I think it was the Sunshine, Celebr the Sunshine Celebration. There's that. And then the last thing in this box, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get them out. Uh, let's see if I can. Ooh. Ooh, I think I did pretty good. There we go. Ooh, Jesus, I'm going to lose them. I'm going to lose them. All right. So I also was able to get the, I call it the Eidicus of the Starry Skies. Now, I'm not too happy with the eyeball on that one, but honestly, I could care less because I really just wanted the model. Because I honestly, I am very big on constellations and stuff like that. So I am actually super stoked to have him. So now I just need to get the other two. The Elberozo and I forget what the other one is. So that is all for this box. And I had two boxes come in. And like I said, most of the shipping probably, well, most of the shipping definitely was pretty much for this other one. He came in a separate box just because he's so big. It was actually one of my grails. I do need to find the other one because that's one of my grails as well. But at least this is not going to be in one spot. Sorry, don't worry me. I'm just making sure I don't misplace anything. So, one holy grail finally achieved. New in packaging. dun dun dun, dun. So I have been a huge fan oh, of the Zippo mold for a super long time. And every time I see this model in a show, I'm just, I'm in love. Now, I'm not huge on showing with, like the people and everything and all this fun stuff. But I have honestly wanted this elegance collection since I've known it was actually a thing. Like I thought this model was just a model that was a special run by himself. But that's not the case, so I'm super glad to finally have him. The mapping on him is gorgeous. I have to open him. Like, this is his original packaging. So I'm trying, I gotta get him out of here, and I gotta wait. I'm gonna wait until I figure out what exactly is going on. So before I open him and everything, he's already been in the box this long. I don't think a little extra time in here is gonna make that big of a difference. So I'm super stoked to have this boy in my collection, and everything else is just an amazing addition to it. I never had like a nice looking rider. I just had the Briar Rider. So we have her so I can try to use her. The hat looks amazing just from what I can see right here. I have the cute tack box that comes with it. The tack on him actually looks really great for Briar tack. So I'm kind of super stoked about that. I actually, well, then again, I do have, um, what you want to call it? I do have, um, fancier saddles but this one for a briar made saddle i from what i can see in here is actually really quality i'll have to wait for further judgment i'm gonna actually do an unboxing unboxing video of this guy that's for sure but i do have the western elegance collection i finally have him i'm super happy and i think triple mountain horses for giving me the opportunity to get him i'm super stoked about it and i will definitely be purchasing purchasing from them again hopefully i get to go up there and see them in person thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to comment rate and subscribe bye